The Natural Approach The Natural Approach method was developed by Tracy Terrell and Stephen Krashen. It is based on the language acquisition theory developed by Krashen. The native language should not be used in the classroom. A lot of vocabulary should be exposed to the student. A lot of activities should be developed. The natural approach is a method for beginners based on observation and interpretation on how a person acquires his or her first language. It rejects the formal organization of language. It is not based on grammar. It is based on communication. It emphasizes comprehensible and meaningful practice activities rather than production of grammatically perfect sentences. This method appeared in 1983 in a book called The Natural Approach, written by Tracy Terrell and Stephen Krashen. The Natural Approach works based on the use of language in communicative situations without recourse to the native language and without reference to grammatical analysis. The Natural Approach is based on the principles of naturalistic language learning in young children. There is an emphasis on exposure, on input, the central component of language is not grammar, it is communication. 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 Language is viewed as a vehicle for communicating meanings and messages. Communication. communication. The lexicon for both perception and production is considered critical in the construction of messages. Crescent language acquisition theory. The natural approach is based on crescent language acquisition theory. The principal tenets of this theory are the following. The Acquisition Learning Hypothesis There are two distinctive ways of developing competence in a second language. Acquisition and Learning Acquisition is an unconscious process that involves the naturalistic development of language proficiency through understanding and using language for meaningful communication. The Monitor Hypothesis Conscious learning can function only as a monitor that checks and repairs the output. Therefore, acquisition is always much better for learning. The natural order hypothesis. Certain grammatical structures are acquired before others. For instance, the present tense is acquired before the past tense. The input hypothesis. People acquire language best by understanding input that is slightly beyond their current level of competence. The Effective Filter Hypothesis The emotional state and the attitudes are an adjustable filter that freely passes or blocks input necessary to acquisition. The student needs motivation, self-confidence and low anxiety. Finally, we're going to give four recommendations for the English class. First, there should be a lot of comprehensible input. Second, whatever helps comprehension is important. Visual aids are useful, as is exposure to a wide range of vocabulary rather than study of syntactic structures. Third, the focus in the classroom should be on listening and reading. Speaking should be allowed to emerge. Fourth, in order to lower the effective filter, student work should center on meaningful communication rather than on form. Input should be interesting and so contribute to a relaxed classroom atmosphere. The natural approach method was developed by Tracy Terrell and Stephen Krashen. It is based on the language acquisition theory developed by Krashen. The native language should not be used in the classroom. A lot of vocabulary should be exposed to the student. A lot of activities should be developed. We can develop activities with the total physical response method. The total physical response method is based on actions. The natural approach is a method for beginners based on observation and interpretation on how a person acquires his or her first language.